Hi friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a little bit of an unorthodox video. And as you can see, we're starting out with my computer screen here. I am just showing you my Etsy shop and this is one of the sections. This is a new section I've just added. Um, this is in my editing mode, obviously, but it is last chance close out and I believe there's 20 items in here and I'm just cleaning up my shop um, items that I will not continue to um, keep in my shop either because they haven't sold well or because I only have a couple left or I didn't like the way the pictures came out or the lighting. I'm really trying to work on uploading more better pictures and better lighting. And so there's just some things I'm not going to be keeping in my shop. So I have deeply discounted these items um, just so I can get them out of my shop and um, so that I can I have a lot more things that will be coming to my shop and I can't keep all the things listed because as you know, Etsy charges you for each listing. And so you need to go through and clean it up from time to time. So enough chatting. I wanna go through each of these and just kind of explain a little bit. Um, the prices that you see here are the list price that I've already really discounted. But if there's a sale going, like I think there's one going on right now, you're going to be things are popping up in the corner, you're going to get a further discount even on this. So you're probably going to want to go check it out. So the first thing is this vintage yellow floral fabric. Um, Y'all know this one if you've been watching my channel, but I'm getting through the roll of it. I don't have that much left and I'd like to clear that roll out of my root craft room. My craft room is just totally closing in on me and I need to get rid of some of this stuff. So I've just discounted this a little bit more and I have different sizes anywhere between $1.99 and $5.99 depending upon whether you just get a piece to cover your journal or you get a whole yard. So there's only uh, four left of that. And then these vintage highlights magazines, they sold so well, you guys loved them. This was so much fun. There's only five left and I'd like to just clear them out. So I reduced the price to $2.99. Then the yellow floral fabric junk journal. This was from last month's project. So um, we are about to do this month's project in the next week or two and then get a new project up. So I need to clear out the rest of the supplies I have for this one. So it's been reduced to $9.99, um, which it was $15. So this is a really good deal. And I believe there's a sale that might be like 20% off of that too. Um, you'll have to check. And then the Work Basket Vintage Magazine. I have a box of these. Some of them I'm keeping for myself, but I need to clear out about 20 more of them. And so I discounted those to $2.99 each. These are incredible vintage illustrations in them. I keep them all, but I would just never use them all. And then the Young People's Science Encyclopedia. These sold incredibly too. They're from 1970. I only have one left. So I discounted it to $3.99. It was $5.50. So that's a pretty good discount. These die cut paper buttons. I really like this in theory, but when you're running a shop, you also have to decide, you know, how much time you're taking to go out and do something. I really don't like the way the pictures came out. And I've only sold a handful at best. And it's just probably not something I'm going to keep stocking in my shop. So that's been marked down to $2.99 for the last one there. And then um, this garden and springtime 65 piece junk journal elements bag. Um, I would like to keep something like this in stock. However, I took a terrible picture here and um, I'm probably going to tweak this and come out with something new next spring. So there's a, one of those left for $19.99. It was, I think, $25.50 or something like that. And the first time I sold it, I think it was $30. So this is a really good deal to get, get this listing cleared out. And then this is an old uh, junk journal project with me too. This is the coordinating three set of three mini three by three journals. So I've reduced that to $7.99. I think it was like originally or 12 or I don't remember but anyway it's now $7.99 and then these digitals these woodland wonders I love these things they have not sold very well and I think that I am going to wind up just using these in my own journals maybe posting them somewhere else um, but this really there's only uh, one left or I've put it as one left for $1.20 um, I think the writing's a little small on these and I don't know I just Time to clear them out. The mini gnome journals. No. Yes, I know. But uh, I have limited book pages and I'm kind of clearing out the gnome uh, stuff 
gnome book stuff because as you get near the end you can't keep making them indefinitely so down to 6.99 to get this listing cleared out and then this dark beauty floral burgundy journal it is beautiful um but marked down to 19.99 i'm going to clear this listing out as well this vintage sari covered journal well i'm about through the sari there's only enough to make one more journal. So I've discounted that you can choose a two or a three inch spine. These are pretty um, elaborate journals. So that's why the price is a little bit more. My Oxides and Lace Digital Junk Journal cards. I think it is time to say goodbye to these in my shop. So $1.20. Um, get rid of those as well. And then my 4x4 mini wraparound journal. These were extremely popular when I made them back I don't know, well over a year ago. I tried to bring them back. They didn't do quite as well. I marked it down to $24.99. So we'll get that one out. And then the stuffed ephemera bag. I want to keep something like this in my shop. However, I did not do such a great job with the pictures on this one. So um, I marked it down to $19.99 to clear this listing out. Some of these are still made to order. They're not like drop ship ready. But um, I'm trying to clear the listing out so that I'm not charged for listing it without selling anything mini lemonade junk journal these are adorable but i can't keep every journal i've ever made as a made to order so i decided to clear this one out 14.99 and then this mini flamingo travelers notebook i love the mini travelers notebook and i'll try to carry more of these in my shop however i think it's time to really phase out the flamingos um i only have limited supplies and and yeah just ready to be done with flam these this flamingo one so 34.99 that's a it used to be 40. And then I was trying to carry some things from Tuesday morning, and um, I'm not saying I never will again, but I have to keep it marked up pretty high to make it worth my while. So I'm clearing out the ones, wow, my lighting is, it was really good, and now it's like just acting super wonky. So I'm sorry about that. So these are the Art C Succulent stamps, and you can see there's die cuts here, and then the stamps or dies, metal dies, and then the stamps. And so there's, I have two of those and I marked them down to $5.99. They were like $7.75 or something like that. I have one of these Vintage Women in Automobiles journals left. This is the naked version that comes with the ephemera pack, the open road. So I marked that down from $30 to $24.99. I only have one of those left. So I'm just clearing this space out since there's only one left. This is made ready to ship. Um, this is not a made to order. I have it made because this was using these limited vintage fabrics from Tiny Home Treasures. So I'm totally out of those. Okay, so Heidi Swap stencil and stamp set. It says my happy place. There's a stencil and then a stamp that is now $3.99. And is that it? I think that's it. Did I already go through? <laughs> wow. So I went through all of them. So that's all of them. And um, they're going to go fast. I think, and I'm happy to get them cleared out because I am working on something incredible. I can't wait to show you. Maybe I'll just give you a sneak peek because if you stuck with me eight minutes through all of this blabbering, you deserve to see a sneak peek. So I'm going to sweep you across my messy room here. So you can see my, there's my, there's a cat in the chair there. I, my craft room, it's crazy. It is crazy. I'm yeah, trying to work through this. Um, so I'm going to show you here. Whoa, whoa. There's my <laughs> gnome book pages. Well, it was here somewhere and I'm going to show you and now I'm embarrassing myself, but I'm going to just keep it in the video so you guys can see I'm human too. So I found them. They, they were there. They were just, they're so thin. Um, just a little sneak peek. These are junk journal covers for people who either are intimidated um, about making covers or they just want someone else to make the cover for them. And then you can slip pages in, Ugh, no sewing required. And I have more that I'm going to be uh, listing as well. But if you stayed through, you deserve to see this and my messy craft room. <laughs> so I hope you all have a lovely day. And hopefully my next video will be more organized. As always, happy crafting.